I love that song so much. In a minute, we'll hear from Tim Burgess, who's starring in that film. Also, some of the cast, including Rosie Day, producer Kevin Proctor. Uh, but first off, you'll hear from Susan Lynch, who's the director. That's pretty impressive. That was the one. Can we play back, please? OK, watching playback. I will mind her. Stop there. What an amazing day. I mean, I've just been here for the last hour. It's extraordinary. You've been watching. I have been watching. You see me get very stressed out when I thought our light was going. I didn't see you getting stressed out. I saw you just wanting the best product. And that's yeah. what it's all about, isn't it? Absolutely. There's something really special about trying to do... It's very ambitious, but trying to do the opening of something all in one shot. And we have the most amazing DOP. He's here. He's called Ali Farahani. Um, he... he, uh, he the, one of the shorts that I saw that he made, The Silent Child actually won the Oscar last year, you know, and he's he's got a lot to do with that. Um, and, and I really love the idea of trying to, to do the beginning of the film where we go from an exterior shot into an interior shot, but we do it all in one shot. And the whole team achieved that, and I've just been in tears because I'm so happy. Well, that is really, really, really good. <laughs> I've been upstairs interviewing the, the team who run the bookshop, and, and they're loving having you here. Oh, well, they, well, they're the most lovely people, and they've been so hospitable to absolutely everyone. Uh, so has pe have people in Tewkesbury, I have to say. There's a lot of goodwill, goodwill here. They're really, really lovely people. All right, so you're one minute of filming Killing Eve, the next minute you're in Tewkesbury. How random is your life? I know. My, <laughs> my life is very, very random. Um, I, I'm very, very lucky. I get to do what I love. And, um, yeah, and, I, and I'm surrounded by really creative people. So, I, I, I mean, the thing is that something, making a film is never one person. It's a team of people. And, you know, it's really, really um, important that you get a good team. And we've got such an amazing producer, Kevin, and he's assembled the best team. How does a producer and director, how do you complement each other? Uh, I facilitate Susan's massive needs. So she will uh, say what she wants and, and, and I will facilitate it as best I can. That's pretty much how it works. She's got a vision, a very particular style and vision and I think you need to uh, respect that, nurture it and ensure that she knows that she is supported in, in any endeavour that she wants to put because it's her mind on screen and she, she sort of funnels that through Tim and through Ali and his camera and you know as a producer you read a script and you think that's really good, I enjoy that, um, I would watch it and then of course you know, when you send it out to these festivals, hopefully that uh, the, 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 the people who are going to watch it uh, feel the same way that we do about it. He's incredibly calm, isn't he? He's amazing. <laughs> he's, my, he's my backbone. He really is. He's, he's just been amazing. And he's trusted and believed in me and Tim from day one. He never once questioned anything about what we were trying to do. Um, the, the film was inspired by a series of conversations that me and Tim had about creativity, about music, about film. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really great. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got to talk to Tib about this. This is, this is an amazing project, and for you, it's kind of a... This is a big deal, isn't it, for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, because of Susan as well, and, um, you know, yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm cool. just, just seeing you filming, just, just the intricate nature of it and, and just making sure it's absolutely right. How did you get into the character of somebody who was in a bookshop like this? Just changed my personality for the, for the past three months. But, uh, um, uh, no, well, uh, Susan wrote it based on what she saw in my multiple personalities. So... Does that sum it up? <laughs> yeah, it does. Do you not need a multiple person? <laughs> but do you need a multiple personality to run a bookshop? I think you probably do. Uh, I think you. Well, I, I don't know. She saw something in me that could could yeah. play this part, and that's yeah. you know, and um, and I, you know, um, it just it's just been a fantastic thing, really. We've known each other for you know quite a while, and um, and uh, it just all seems to flow, didn't it? The idea yeah. seems to flow. We like meeting up and, yeah. and, and, and talking about talking about the film. And we really trust each other. I think mm -hmm. that's a that's a really big thing, yeah. you know, to have that trust and for the actors to create. And because I am an actor, yeah, you know, uh, I know what is needed to to be able to deliver, and um, it's it's creating a sensual environment so that the actors can be the best that they can be. And we have an amazing set of 
actors we've got we'll Rosie Day. Rosie, Ro- Rosie yeah. is phenomenal. She's just had to do a really difficult technical shot and still make it look really easy, and she did it every time. There you go. You're getting a, another compliment from the director. Oh, so nice. Tell me a little bit about your character. Um, so she, I'm really awful at describing things. So she kind of brings uh, herself into the bookshop. Well, you did, and you said very loudly yeah. his name. Yes, can we hear it? Leonard! Yeah, it was yeah. even louder than that. It was very, very loud. <laughs> very yeah, screeching. Um, yeah, into the bookshop, into this kind of amazing world. That's What's it like great. working with the team? Amazing, really, really cool. I think she kind of invited myself to be a part of this um, through Kevin. I Is that right, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, it, she did. She's not welcome. No. <laughs> Don't believe that for one minute. No, I no heard, she's very welcome. She's I heard they welcome. were doing it, and yeah, and then just annoyed. She, Rosie's such a fantastic actress, and this role she sort of features at the beginning and the end of the bookshop. But she said to Kevin, "Oh no, no, no! I'll come. I'll come and do this." So I had wrote her this very big email <laughs> saying, "You are overqualified for this role," which she is. She is. I mean, it's like she's so talented and it's quite a small little kind of what would they call it a cameo, cameo role yeah. um, and she was generous generous enough to come but also when she's not acting she's been helping everyone out as well really fun you're a star no really fun I've grown up watching um, Susan in things and I've always thought she was incredible and so at the moment uh, Kevin said her name I went what sorry can I come keep it for me Leonard there you go so much fun being at the bookshop, Cornell Bookshop, in Tewkesbury uh, yesterday afternoon, meeting uh, Tim, Tim Burgess, of course, who was in a wonderful band called The Charlatans in the 1990s, and he's back uh, acting. It's a super story, this. It's called The Bookshop, and it's going to be out fairly soon. They're going to take it around uh, lots of the uh, kind of film festivals. Uh, you heard from Susan Lynch, who is the director uh, she was in Killing Eve, also the Steven Spielberg blockbuster, Ready Player One, and now she is directing. You also heard uh, from Rosie Day, uh, one of the actors there, producer Kevin Proctor, and Tim Burgess himself. Uh, more from the team a little bit later on. It's BBC Radio Gloucestershire.